Okay. Okay, let's go. Okay, we are live. Okay, welcome to Black to Black Talk Show. I have uh, Bianca Marie here with Be Fully Funded, uh, tour, but also founding founder of Purpose Consulting. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Absolutely. Uh, so, of course, my name is Bianca Marie, and I'm from Cleveland, Ohio. Um, I am a mom of three natural, two adopted. I'm a grandma of two. Um, I'm a wife. I've been a wife for 13 years now. And I'm actually I'm in ministry serving but beside my husband in ministry. But in the entrepreneurial world, I am the founder of Purpose Consulting, which is a consulting company for small business owners that want to scale to the six, seven figure through funding, mindset coaching, logistics, events, and things of that nature. So we have a full team that's able to service every aspect of your business. I also have a nonprofit that I funded 12 years ago that has grown to three different states, serving over 4,500 youth. Um, and that's been exceptionally well, but it's been pushed forth through grant writing um, and being able to not really have to lower my impact and the things that I want to do because I didn't have the funding. Um, so that's kind of who I am and what I do. And um, that kicked off the Be Fully Funded Tour, just really knowing that there's so much money out here and people don't know how to get it. Or there's an integrity issue with having people try to get it for you. So why not teach you how to do it yourself so that you can have an ATM to your business? Okay. I would I, I would like to read your bio that you sent over. Uh, so I, I'll read it now. It says, Bianca Marie uh, summed up in one word is nothing short of a powerhouse. Born in Cleveland, Ohio, and held degrees in justice studies, criminology, and master of human development, family service. This powerhouse is on a mission to change lives, pave the way for others to do the same, thus making her an undeniable household name as a speaker, teacher, preacher, mentor, mother of three, wife, entrepreneur, philanthropist. Uh, she does it all and is just getting started. Bronkery is currently the founder of Motivation Empowering Company. Which uh, Inc., which is a nonprofit organization for girls across the globe. She is also the CEO of Purpose Consulting, with help with faith-based business owners, launch six-figure organizations, and create sustainability. She is also the CEO of Bianca, Bianca Marie Ministries and COO, alongside of her husband of Crawford Mortuary Transportation Services. In addition to her speaking ministry, Bianca Marie is the author of Broken to Grace. I'm just a girl and I like it. And the beautifully broken prayer journal shares more initiatives such as Girl Live Podcast, Purposely, Purposely Mentor LLC, and much more. But her greatest joy is standing beside her husband of 11 years, Pastor David J. Crawford Jr., raising the best children, David III, and Aubrey, is that right? And Aubrey. Devin, and Devin. Bianca Marie is the latest woman on the rise as she steps out of the shadows and continues to create her own lane fueled with undeniable vision, passion, and purpose. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, she's she's coming to uh, Beaumont to uh, do a tour as well. She's uh, doing tours all over. If you are looking to get a uh, grant, learn how to do grant writing or to get fund, fully funded, she is your girl. Uh, uh, tell me, uh, Bianca, how, what is the benefit of becoming fully funded through your grant writing, through your program? Um, so there are so many things when I think about grant writing. We know that um, for nonprofit businesses, you can always write a grant. But a lot of times we forget the for-profit organizations have that same benefit. Um, and we also forget that there is access to this funding year-round. And a lot of times you see posts on Facebook, like I'm looking for a grant writer and there's an integrity issue. Do you know that people actually apply for it? You pay all this money, you don't hear anything back. And people are really just like, look, I really need the money, but I'm tired of investing in people who don't really do the work for me. So in the last two years, I was able to really dive into grant writing, make it a, 
a a tangible learning skill for myself where I was able to scale and help fund $5.5 million in grant money for my clients. And in the beginning of this year, I was like, God, where do I go next? I don't want to grant right anymore. Like if I have to, I will, but I don't want to. And God taught me, took me to the book of Matthew. And he was telling me how, like, you know, when he went to the disciples, he didn't just give them what they needed in that moment. He told them to come along so they can learn in the process of what it is that they needed to learn. And with that being said, I want to be able to do that. If I can teach you to be a fisherman, then that means that you have a limited, uh, unlimited access to what it is that you need. So with the Be Fully Funded Tour, what we're really trying to do is really create a grant writer within your organization, whether it's you, a business partner, a friend. But let's teach you how to get the financing for your business, for your nonprofit. But the Lord literally put on my heart for churches. A lot of churches, we are we're failing in our church ministries. We're not making an impact. We've lost what we're supposed to be doing in ministry. We have not became the pillars that we used to be in the community. Everybody turned into everything else. But how can the church get ground footing back in their communities and do what they've been called to do? Well, a lot of times they think because they are doing things like prison ministry that they don't call it for a grant. But that's reentry. So that's grant money. They think because we have a youth program that's youth development that's grant money so if i can teach you how to get those things to rebuild the church rebuild the community rebuild your businesses rebuild those things then what god is saying to me is bianca you're going to be able to take poverty by the neck home and you're going to be able to help us that look like us sound like us be able to scale our business to the level that we desire yes. God said that we are the head and not the tail, the lender and not the borrower. That does not come with a color. That does not come with a social economic status. That comes with learning how to do what you need to do to get the money. This year alone, $470 trillion was released in grant money. Why don't you have access to it? That's what the tour is going to give you. Oh, that's wonderful. Yes. Yeah, so uh, where's your first city you're touring? Uh, we are kicking off in Philadelphia, uh, June 8th and 9th. Uh, I'm excited. We partnered with the local church there, Emmanuel Christian Church. Um, but that's our first city, and we are hitting 15 cities thereafter. Okay, okay. Uh, so, uh, I you heard you mention churches that you do it's for also for entrepreneurs and business owners as well, right? Yes, because there's grant money for everything. The system that I use, I can literally type in. Find me a grant for a nonprofit to service cats. It mm -hmm. will give me all these money just for you to buy a cat, right? Mm -hmm. But I can also put in for government entities. So, like, I work with big local government entities. How can you, as a local police department, get grant funding? I can mm -hmm. get you grants for active shooter training and, mm -hmm. and things like that. So, there's so much money that whether you're a government entity or you are a new business starting from the bottom, there is funding for you. Okay. Uh, th is there any particular programs you use or that you will share with the, when they get to your training or uh, what is the process? Yes. So when we come into the training, it's going to be like none other. This is not your boring educational class. We have created a full experience. So we're literally going to be going, coming in, we are opening up with a live band every city that we're in. Whether we're going to be doing praise and worship, just a little funk it out, just to get everybody woken up. Classes are 45 minute intervals, but in between there, we're going to do some line dancing. We're going to have lunch. We're going to have breakfast. We're going to have a grant giveaway where my company will be giving a thousand dollars away to a business in the building each day because we're in each city for two days. Um, they also get their treasure box, and inside of their treasure box is work templates and worksheets that help them write the grants but also it's be softwares that they can download to be able to get the grant um, information and the grant list that they need. So all of my systems and software. Okay. So uh, like what if somebody that doesn't really know how to fill out the forms, will you be showing them actually the steps and stuff like that to fill those forms out? Yes. So I'm going to be giving you all of my knowledge, all of my intellectual property in this mm -hmm. class. So okay. everything that I know about writing a grant, I'm going to give to you. So I'm going to teach you how to find the information, write the information, submit the information, even get information feedback from your funders, how to find funders, how to pitch to the funders before you even submit the grants. I'm going to teach you 
every step of this process. And then not only am I going to do that, I am also going to teach you how to continue to build this relationship. So now you don't have to continue to go and apply. Now they invite you back to apply for their grants. Okay. And I heard you mention that once you take the class, if you wanted to join you or work with you, uh, help you write grants, you, that is some, that's an option as well? Yes. So that's an option to become certified. So it's an additional fee once the class is over or you have to take a test, but then you'll become certified and you can come on with me and write um, grants for my clients. My goal is to have a grant writer in every city, every state, so that we can have our own mini grant offices where people can kind of work one on one with people who are local so they don't have to look and search all over the Internet for somebody to assist them with grant writing. OK. And your grant writing program is for everybody. It's just you are targeting my uh, minorities or you're just targeting what is your target audience? My target audience is really small business owners, churches, and and and, and anybody who really anyone. Everybody can use a grant writer, right? Yes. Everybody. Uh, like yeah. literally when I talk to government entities, they be like, Oh, we were just talking about how we need these grant money. Because there's so many, even federal wise, like when I say there's four hundred and seventy trillion dollars, like that's just grants but then there's mm -hmm. donations in the midst of the pandemic 4.2 billion dollars was released in donation money so even on top of that i'm going to even teach you how to get donations and fundraise to even get that for your businesses stop thinking because you're a nonprofit that you can't do this but also i'm going to tell you why you should have a nonprofit. so for the grants that you don't qualify for the for-profit write it under your nonprofit, and you can still get the money yes yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, because I am actually interested in doing a nonprofit as well. So that is something yeah. uh, so I can be able to uh, give more because I like to help. So um, why not become a nonprofit and be able to get the funding to do so? Exactly. So that is something I'm very, very much interested in. Uh, so tell me uh, anything that you would like to share that about your business, other business besides uh, the uh, fully funded? Honestly I'm just excited to be in this place. Um, when I when I do these interviews, I a lot of times I talk about those moments of my life that kept me stuck and made me believe that I wasn't worthy of this moment. Like this is literally just the beginning of what God is going to do in me and the people attached to me. I come from a teenage mom being homeless by the time I was five, raped by the time I was eight. At 15, caught myself in juvenile, facing a seven-year sentence to graduate high school a year early, have four degrees, five multiple businesses that are all six-figure or above businesses, and be able to say, I left the federal government making what people thought was good money to I make that in a month, in a week at some point, yeah. right? Yeah. And this year, I am, this month put me at, the status of being almost a millionaire because I made my first 500,000 within these first five months of the year. So I'm literally just grateful for this place that I'm in because so many people look like me, sound like me, and have encountered the moments that I've encountered, depression, anxiety, suicide. I'm a 10 time suicide survivor. And it keeps them from literally going after their goals. They be like, I can't do it. I'm not qualified. I'm yes. damaged. And this is literally not the great. This tour, God is saying, it's not even about the money. Mm -hmm. It's reminding people like, look, you still can do this. No matter what you look like, what you mm -hmm. come from, there still is purpose inside of you. Yes. And I think about it, we don't really know each other, but we just kind of connected through uh, and, uh, internet. Yes. So, yeah. So yes. I'm thinking to myself. Uh, it's something that I've always wanted to do, something with grant writing to help people to get the grant writing because they don't have any clue how to do it. And mostly people look like us don't have the, uh, you know, the knowledge to do so or to know how to do it. And I wanted to bring something to the city where that uh, that will help the Golden Triangle that will encourage them to actually go after the grants and not just leave that money on the table. Because what you're doing is leaving money on the table. And it's time well, our counterparts. Because yeah. there's grants specifically for women, black women, black men, Hispanics, Latinos, mm -hmm. you know, Cubans, El Salvadoran. It's money classified just for them. But because mm -hmm. we don't know how to do it or we don't know how to get it, then they mm -hmm. take that money and open it back up to our counterparts. And we're looking like, oh, well, you know, there's a saying where they say, 
for Cleveland that it's the worst city in the world for a black woman or a young girl to be raised in Cleveland, mm -hmm. city of Cleveland. Yeah. And a lot of that is due to systematic racism and barriers that's put in place, but a lot of it is us. Because yeah. when we have the resources and the things that can change what it looks like for us, we don't want to make the investment to make a difference in our lives. So, but we sit back and blame everybody else. Let me teach you how to remove those barriers. I yes. went from being, this is a very transparent moment. I went from being three years ago, about to lose my whole life, house, car, everything. Mm -hmm. I turned around, opened up a youth center, was able to write enough grants to open up a 6,000 square foot building that has everything for kids. I was able to put myself on a six figure payroll, put my husband on the payroll, put my kids on the payroll. My mom works for me. My dad works for me. I was able to change my whole family life through grant writing. Yes. Now ain't that a blessing. Now don't y'all hear that? Y'all better get a game. <laughs> yes. Because I'm, uh, I want. I'm always trying to look for different opportunities for everybody that, uh, to, you know, to advance our people. We don't need to be left behind and, and not be growing. So, and when I found, I found out about your, uh, uh, be fully funded tour. I said, I gotta get on this. <laughs> yes, yes, I, I'm I super excited. Go. Like this is going to be an experience, and it's the BFF tour. Because the question will be, be fully funded, but bring your BFF. Like, yeah. bring a friend. So we even changed the price and structure to one ticket is $5.99, two is $9.99. Come and bring a friend. Don't mm -hmm. bring a counterpart. Bring a, a, an associate so that you can learn what mm -hmm. is necessary. There is no reason in this society why we're broke. Yes. No. Yes. Yeah. And that's that's I'm, I'm I I look for people that's a servant leader, and I I I I thank you a servant leader because you're always helping. And I don't know why I could, I just connect with people like that. I don't know what I just do. I guess that's I that's in me too. So uh, I wanted to play your song, and then I'll give you a chance to talk about that a little bit after uh, why that song means so much to you, or you know. Yes. It's gonna be big. 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 It's gon
Lord, let it be. Hey, my future is big. My blessing is big. My destiny is big. The new job will be. The next job will be. The next door will be. Lord, let it be. Hey, and it's gonna be. What is God about to do for you? Say. connected to you they better stay close to you because the next thing god is doing for you is gonna be so 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 god bless you all right so I like to play that. There's something I'm. I, I hope they don't block me when I do this. When I be I be playing these songs and stuff. But this is my goal to play these songs at the end and give y'all a chance to uh, elaborate on that. Why that song means something to you? Oh, I love that song for a few things. First, that's my pastor. Okay. Uh, so um, I, I'm always going to support him and yeah. everything that he does. Um, but secondly. Because I was going through this moment last year where I was really like, you know, God, what's next for me as an entrepreneur, mm. as, a, as a leader, as a woman mm. who um, whose purpose and destiny has been to really empower young girls and women to be their best me. God, what's going to be next for me? And because of my life situations and because of the moments that kept me in, a, in the dark and the moments that made me feel like even though physically I was living, mentally I was ready to die. But mentally, I was living some moments and physically I was going to die. And God was like, through all of that, I'm going to create something for you that's going to be big. And it's going to be so big that it's going to bless everybody around you. So God made me a promise and a declaration at the end of 2022 was that everybody attached to you will win. And not only yeah. will they win, but it's going to be big. And I didn't understand the magnitude of that. But when I think about that song, it reminds me that my life is not just for me. I don't yeah. succeed. I don't do these things for me. I get the, the residue of the overflow of my yeah. obedience to Christ. Because what I do is for everybody else. I'm a giver. I'm a servant yes. at heart. But God reminded me this year, like, Bianca, it's going to be big for you, your family, but everybody else attached to you in this season. And even in this moment, there's people who attached me shortly. And I wish, like, one of my employees with me, they'll tell you, like, all the time, like, somebody can connect with me for five minutes. And their whole life will look different after connecting me. And it's only because the promise that God placed on my life that everybody attached to me will win. But not mm. only will they win, but it's going to be big. And I think if people begin to change their mindset and speak that over their life and, re and, and remind God that this is what he promised us, our lives will look different. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, I want to give props to uh, Pastor Mike Jones because I uh, I love that song as well. Uh I play it on backgrounds on uh, stuff that I share and stuff like that. So I like to uh, tell who that was. I, you can see who it's by, but I like to give a uh, uh, you know yes. shout his name yep. out as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes. So uh, you have anything to add before we close? Listen, if you are in Beaumont Tri area, absolutely come hang out with me and my team. Um, when we come, we are excited to be there. We're coming. Uh, we have some amazing things for you. We have, have all our BFF gear coming because today I am excited to be you guys' new BFF. I'm trying yes. to get us all fully funded. Yes, thank you. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. Thank you for coming to Beaumont. <laughs> yes, I'm excited. My dad lives in Dallas. And he was like, how are you in Beaumont in that Dallas? I was like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> 